So one of the things I try to always do with this channel is give you the most up-to-date information I possibly can, especially on a topic that I've covered here before. And in this case, we're going to be talking about the Anderson Farming Mission. Now, over the past few weeks, you may have seen a few videos that I put together showing you the changes that have taken place in that mission since Season 11 began. Well, my friends, we had Title Update 17.1 introduced into the game today. I did notice another change, so I wanted to bring you a quick video bringing you up to speed. What's up my YouTube family, Greybeard with the Gaming Brigade back with another Division 2 video and this is going to be a quick one as it has to do with a General Anderson farming mission and a change that I noticed in my gameplay as of this morning. Now if you happen to be new here, feel free to hit that subscribe or join button. If you enjoyed this, you could hit that like button as well and we are having a giveaway for a PlayStation 5 but I will save that info until the end of the video. Now as most of you know when it comes to this mission, one of the best things about running it over and over and this goes back to the end of season. 10, but it was the fact that every time you ran it, you would get a guaranteed exotic to drop regardless of the difficulty you were running. Now, when season 11 began, and as I said a moment ago, this is something I did cover at the channel, but I noticed that it was no longer a guaranteed drop. Now, the odds of getting an exotic were still really, really high, but you would not get one every single time. And I did hear from a lot of you out there saying some of you were still getting it every time, others were getting it like 60, 70, 80%. So, needless to say, when it comes to this game, those are very, very, very high drop rates. However, one thing I wanted to make sure I tried out this morning was running the Anderson mission over and over and seeing if that exotic drop rate was still as high as we've been used to for the last month or two or however long it's been. And the reason for that is I noticed something in yesterday's patch notes where they did mention something about this mission and the Dr. Home exotic rifle. And I think I said this in yesterday's video, it sounded a little strange and I really thought that there was going to be some sort of a change today. And unfortunately, at least for my gameplay, I have not seen a single exotic drop from this mission as yet and I ran this thing 10 times in a row agents like I always want to make sure I do give you the right information and keep in mind as I'm saying all of this I may just have horrible horrible luck today and this is where I call upon you my YouTube family let me know what's going on in your gameplay have you jumped back into the Anderson mission do you see a change of any kind whatsoever and if that's the case let me know what's going on in your gameplay again I can only tell you what's happening here for me but I would love to hear your feedback and as always if I have any more information I will definitely pass it along as soon as I get it. Now, as I start to wrap this video up, I'd like to give you my opinion on this whole thing right now. So let's say, for instance, in the comments section, all of you say, you know what, we're not getting any exotics whatsoever. They nerf this thing into the ground. Now, in my opinion, I really don't think we can call it a nerf because I don't think that this was intentional at any point in the game, meaning to get a guaranteed exotic at the end of every run, I don't think was ever supposed to take place. Now, if we go back to season 10, and this is for those of you that may not know, but when you finish the General Anderson prime target mission, you were supposed to get the Dr. Home Exotic as a guaranteed reward at the very end. However, for some people, when they reached the end of the mission, their inventory was full, the Dr. Home dropped on the ground, and they could not pick it up. And it caused a bunch of issues for players, and the game said they were going to replace those. Now, by the way, we are still waiting on that. Hopefully, that will happen soon. But that, my friends, is another video for another day. So what I think took place was this. When they took the Dr. Home out of the game as far as a guaranteed drop at the end, for some reason, it was replaced with a random exotic. And when they made this change today, what was supposed to take place back in season 10 actually took place this morning, which then eliminated all of the exotics dropping as a guarantee at the end of this mission. Again, I could be wrong and I really hope it's just affecting me, but if not, let me know what's going on in your gameplay. And as always, if you have any questions, comments, feedback, let me know and I will get back to you as quick as I can. With all that being said, my friends, I'm going to start to wrap this up. And the main point of putting this video together is because I've done farming videos in the past on Anderson, I wanted to make sure, like I said earlier, I gave you the most up-to-date information because if this is not working at this point, the best way for me to get this information out there is to put a video together and I sincerely hope this helps you out. As always, I want to take a moment and thank you all for your incredible support of this channel. Now, as I mentioned at the beginning of this thing, we are currently having a giveaway for a PlayStation 5. To enter, all you need to do is subscribe here or follow on Twitter and the winner will be announced May 4th of this year. On that note, I'm going to let the rest of the video play out but like I said at the beginning of this thing if you happen to be new here feel free to hit that subscribe or join button if you enjoyed this you could hit that like button as well but most importantly 
Take care of yourselves, be kind to each other, and we will talk to you soon. Thanks again, everyone.